the La Liga here, the top uh, the teams that finish in the top four. There's his first one from this one. Yeah, I was looking at the odds uh, for the teams to finish in the top four, and I was really uh, surprised, to be honest, because uh, we got the you know two big favorites, Real Madrid and Barcelona, who of course uh, have untouchable odds. You just can't touch them, uh, not even stick them in a parlay. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you got Atletico Madrid at minus uh, 700 or something, which is really not worth it. Uh, and then you got Sevilla at plus 125, and Sevilla. I mean, they lost a couple of uh, defenders. They, they're on the verge of selling uh, the others starting center back. So, and they haven't reinforced themselves at all. So uh, I think Sevilla are not going to have an easy season. And um, I like Betis here. I like Betis at plus 450. Betis, uh, of course, they're coming off a really, really nice season uh, where they, they finished um, at the fifth spot. But here's the thing, um, they were uh, actually fighting. They won the Copa del Rey, um, the Spanish Cup, and uh, they were doing a, great, uh, a pretty good job in the Europa League, of course. Uh, they were juggling three competitions at once up until the end of the season, and they were doing a mighty job, a, a really good job in the, um, in the sense that they did actually win the Copa del Rey, uh, but they were eliminated from the uh, uh, Europa League in the round of uh, 16. Uh, and, um, you know, they could have uh, finished at the top four last season, but uh, a couple of bad results there at the end cost them that top four spot. And uh, this season, they made three really, really good additions. Um, uh, they got Luis Felipe on a free transfer from Lazio, which is a, a really nice defender. It's going to probably slide in, into the starting lineup. They got Brazilian midfielder Luis Enrique from Fluminense. Uh, who is really going to be a nice boost. And uh, they signed William Jose, who, uh, you know, they, he, he played on them. He played on, he, he played for Betis uh, on a loan from Real Sociedad. And then, uh, and then uh, you know, Real Betis, they, um, they made that loan deal permanent. So, and they didn't actually lose anything, um, uh, any starters. So last season, we saw them using uh, Two good lineups. Even the the reserve lineup was quite solid, and uh, I just I genuinely see them uh, finishing inside the top four. And uh, I'm really surprised by the price. So I think this price is gonna drop uh, when the you know right before the season starts in about a couple of weeks from now. So I like Betis to finish inside the top four and claim that Champions League ticket at plus 450. All right, Paul Aguero's finest picks over at Tony'sPicks.com. Uh, La Liga team to finish in the top four. His first one here is Betis here at plus 450. Hey, you guys, you're tuning to Star Picks Daily. Join us here Monday through Friday here at uh, 2.15 Eastern Time. Uh, best way to do it here, guys, is uh, to like, subscribe, and set those notifications. So when you set the notifications, you're live with us so you can bet into the best numbers with these great picks here from our expert handicapper, Paul Agretos. Find them over at tonyspicks.com. All right, let's continue on. As we're going to continue to look here at the La Liga team to finish the for his same team in this category yeah i when i when i sent the picks yesterday this price was at, was at plus 275 and uh today it shot up at plus 400 so you know these lines are are, are changing because uh there's transfer news there's all kind of news coming out from the la liga and uh we're, we're talking about real sociedad um you know they made some great additions again to uh, they're one of the teams that I believe that they got reinforced um, in this transfer window. They signed uh, Japanese midfielder Kubo from Real Madrid. Uh, they also got Bryce Mendes from, Tel from Celta and uh, French forward Mohamed Ali Cho from uh, Anze for a fee of 11 million dollars, uh, um, 11 million euros, sorry. Um, and they didn't really lose any starters, um, maybe just a couple of uh, players who didn't really play. And I think they were reinforced in this transfer window. So. Uh, with Sevilla not being so good, and uh, you know Villarreal are also one of the teams that you can bet on finish uh, to finish the top four. But um, since now the price for Real Sociedad is at plus 400, I'm gonna take a flyer here with Real Sociedad to, to finish in the top four uh, at plus 400. I mean the odds are um, even higher now than they were yesterday, and I I just like those odds even more. All right, Paul Agredo's finest picks over at TonySpicks.com. La Liga team to finish in the top four is second from this category. He likes Real Sociedad. The return, plus 275. Hey, you guys are tuning in to Star Picks Daily. You join us here Monday through Friday at 2.15 Eastern Time. If you miss any of our picks, we'll do a complete recap here at the end of the show, so make sure you stay tuned for that. 